where are the Kardashians and Jenner's dogs? Like, where is Blue? Where is this golden retriever that the Disics got for Christmas this past year? Where is Sushi? It's dead. It's like, it's dead. What? I don't have time for a dead hamster. Apparently, they live in the garage. They're obviously not potty trained. And these Pomeranians are years old. You're a fucking billionaire. Why can't you fucking have someone train your dogs so that they can have a happy life and live in your house? The Kardashians treat their pets like they do their employees. They exploit them for what they are worth and then throw them to the curb. This family has bought handfuls of animals for social media clout. Kim, Courtney, Chloe, and Kendall are all guilty and shouldn't ever be allowed to adopt another pet again. So let's get into it. Some celebrities make their pets part of their brand. For example, Paris Hilton is almost always seen with a little dog by her side. And I truly feel that Paris does care about her animals. But what happens when a celebrity starts to exploit their pet for reputational gain and then toss them to the curb when they're done with them? Well, the Kardashian-Jenner clan has always been obsessed with their public image and adorable dogs make for a positive spin. It's even a popular screenwriting shortcut to reveal a character's morals based on how they treat a dog. And that makes sense. I mean, you can tell if someone's a good person on how they treat an animal. Because if I see someone, you know, start to abuse a dog, a cat, whatever, automatic red flags. Well, when it comes to this family, there are tons of red flags because not only are these pets disposable, but the ones currently living in their care aren't living in adequate conditions. Kim's daughter North has a TikTok where she posts a bunch of videos and one day she shared a video of their garage, which appears to be where they store their animals in cages and on pee pads. And this person breaks down exactly why this is so so wrong. Apparently they live in the garage. They're obviously not potty trained and these Pomeranians are years old. I actually run a dog business that does drop-ins, walks, doggy daycare, all of that. So I'm just saying I've never seen this much food in a Pomeranian's bowl. That's how much food I would give my husky, which makes me believe that they're getting fed once a day and someone's coming to check on them and clean up after them, but you're a fucking billionaire. Why can't you fucking have someone train your dogs so that they can have a happy life and live in your house? And I'm not saying that this is the worst, like most inhumane way to have a dog because I grew up around like dog fighting rinks. But if you're a billionaire, you can provide a better life than this for your dog. I agree with her. The main takeaway is that you are a billionaire with a bunch of resources, yet your animals are living in these conditions, which, yeah, I mean, you see Paris Hillen's home. They have like a mansion in the backyard for her dog. So very different from her BFF Kim. Now let's talk about these Kardashians and Jenners and why their pets are mysteriously missing. So this family has a habit of broadcasting new furry additions to their families only to stop all content about them later on. And what pisses me off is that Kim has said publicly that she's not the biggest animal person, yet she has owned plenty of animals. So why don't you allow these animals to go and live in homes with people who actually want them. Where are the Kardashians and Jenner's dogs? Like, where is Blue? Where is Blue? That's a great question. And again, this video is about their entire family because each one of them are guilty. And Kendall had a dog named Blue that she just ended up giving away. If you guys did not know, I have a dog named Bunny and I can't even leave her for a couple days. So I can't imagine getting her and then giving her away. When I did adopt her, they said she's going to her forever home. And I feel like that's important for people who are adopting animals because it like can give them PTSD, like bringing them to your home, getting them comfortable, and then just throwing them away. Dogs are not meant to be treated that way. No animal should be. Let's talk about Kendall's dog, Blue, because they never explain what happened, but we have an idea because Kim was quoted saying that Kendall's Great Dane, Blue, pooped 
everywhere, talking in past tense, like Blue has been given away. And at this point in Kendall's life, she was living in an apartment, she was modeling, so it probably wasn't the best time. There was an episode where Kim like came home and opened up the laundry room door. I think the dog pretty much stayed in that room. Um, and there was just like poop everywhere. And we really didn't see the dog much after. Um, Kendall had just started modeling and was traveling all the time. So maybe it was best for Kendall to give up Blue, but still that sucks for Blue. And hopefully he, they went to a happy home. There is this golden retriever that the districts got for Christmas this past year. Where's Honey? Let's talk about Courtney's dogs because these two are MIA. Honey is Courtney's dog who was adopted back in 2017. They're a Pomeranian and we would actually see Honey on the show keeping up with the Kardashians, but we haven't seen Honey since 2019. And even though Courtney claims they still have the dog, it doesn't seem that they do. Then in Christmas 2019, they got another dog, a golden retriever puppy. And it seems like they had this puppy for about five months until it just disappeared. So it seems like Courtney buys these dogs, doesn't want to take care of them, and then just gives them up. Okay, so then Christmas 2019, Courtney gives her kids this golden retriever puppy. So then we get a ton of puppy pictures. Um, so making it very known that they got a dog and they love the dog and blah, blah, blah. This appears to be the last photo we have of this golden retriever puppy. I'd guess it's probably four or five months in this picture, so they kept it for two months, um, and then we haven't seen it since. Now let's talk a little bit about Kimberly, because Courtney adopted Honey, the Pomeranian, and Kim actually adopted another dog from the same litter and named it Sushi. She's also gotten her daughter North a couple dogs throughout the years. Where is Sushi? Kim posted these dogs as well that she got for North, so Sushi would have friends. One's name is Saki, the other one's name's like soy sauce or noodle. But where are these dogs at? So let's talk a little bit about Sushi, because even though Courtney seems to have given up Honey, it does look like Kim still has Sushi, because Sushi was featured in that garage video. But it does seem like Sushi lives their life in a cage. I found one clip that was about... <sighs> a hamster dying, North's hamster dying, and you'll see that Sushi's just in a cage on the ground. It seems like no matter where Sushi's at, they have a wall surrounding them. It's dead. It's dead. What? I don't have time for a dead hamster. Are you sure it's no longer with us? No. It's dead, it's, it's for deep. sure, yeah. The hamster's dead. Sushi, did you do this? There's something about Kim smiling in that clip that rubs me the wrong way because I get it, it's a hamster, but it's also like your daughter's pet and like a dead animal and it just doesn't seem like funny to me. It's also seriously not funny how many animals have fallen victim to the Kardashians. Like this headline, there were pets that were dumped off, left behind and even killed by a coyote. Let's do a quick speed round because in the top left corner, we have Rocky, Kim's dog, who we don't know what happened to him. He may be living with Reggie Bush. When it comes to Rocky the dog, Kim actually had a custody battle with Reggie Bush and Kim actually won custody, but it's clear Kim did not keep Rocky. So either Reggie took Rocky or Kim threw Rocky to the curb. Then we've got Jackson, one of Chloe's dogs, who has not been seen in several years. Courtney had a cat named Charlie who was given up for adoption. And then we've got Bella and Dolce. Bella was given away and Dolce was killed by a coyote. It's very possible that Dolce was killed by a coyote because there are coyotes out here in the mountains. So maybe that's what happened. I don't know exactly how that could have happened because like, don't they have gates? But who knows what a coyote can do? Dolce was adopted at the same time as Cabana, who is Chloe's dog. And it actually turns out that Cabana lived with Chloe until January 2018. When she passed away, Chloe posted on social media and wrote, last night, my sweet Cabana passed away. She was more than a pet. She was my first child, my companion, my friend. 
And I actually think that Gabbana is the only animal that the Kardashians have treated properly. I mean, Chloe has had a few other dogs, which we'll talk about, and she's just thrown them away. But something about Gabbana kept her around. And actually, Gabbana is the only Kardashian pet that lived with them from beginning to end. So first we have Gabbana, um, a cute black lab. She is the only um, Kardashian animal that we have seen live their life from start to finish. When Gabbana did die, Kris Jenner thought it would be a good idea to gift Chloe three puppies. Not just one puppy, three puppies to help her get over the death of her dog. Which sounds really awful to me because one puppy is hard enough. So why would Chris set up Chloe like this? Like, why do they act like these animals are just, again, so disposable that it's not difficult to raise them and potty train them and, you know bond with them. These people clearly do not have the time to raise these animals and they're not paying people to raise them for them. So Chloe actually announced in 2019 that she had to rehome the three puppies that Chris had gifted her. She said, I just moved back into my house. I've done my research. They're going to people who will love and adore them. It's not exactly clear why she can't have these animals in her house because like, okay, you just moved into your house. So like, bring the dogs with you, but she clearly did not want them. So yes, go give them to people who will love them. But when it comes to Chris, she needs to stop gifting these dogs because at some point they had two dogs named like Louis Vuitton and Chris gifted them to, I believe, Kendall and Kylie, though these dogs did not last for long. Okay, then we have um, Louis and Vuitton. Uh, these were Christmas presents from Chris to Kendall and Kylie. They, at least one of them was in the show because I remember that episode where Kendall hired the landscaper to do her chores. One of these was in that. Um, but we have not seen them since, nor do we know what happened to them or where they went. Let's go back to Chloe, because when she was with Lamar Odom, they had a dog named Bernard, who was a boxer. And at some point, Chloe had to move into her brother Rob's apartment, and I guess there was a strict no-pet policy, so she literally gave her boxer away to a family friend. Kim made a statement reassuring fans that Bernard is super happy at his new home, which I'm sure he is, but like how does Chloe just like have this animal and then give them away? And plus, when you're like a Kardashian like this, like, uh, you know, these policies aren't going to stop you from having your animal or keeping your pet until you can have them again. It just seems like an excuse that they made up and said, you know what? The apartment complex wouldn't let us like have the dog for a couple of weeks. So we just gave him away. There is one family member here that I do believe loves their animals. And of course, that is Kylie Jenner. Even though there are some concerning reports that Kylie's dogs are way too thin, some experts claim that it's just just part of the breed because she has a bunch of Italian greyhounds and it's clear that she really does love them. I mean, she's been collecting them at this point and she's always posting with them, always spending time with them at home. And I do believe that she does take care of these dogs, even though her mom has set her up in the past with some puppies that she, you know, kicked to the curb. I do think that she takes care of these animals. I did find this video interesting, which features Kylie and Travis, and you can tell that they are just not meant for each other. They recently broke up and as they should because Travis can't even name Kylie's animals. And like I said, I do believe that Kylie cares about these pets. And I think that Travis not knowing their names shows that he's not invested in her. They don't spend a lot of time together. It's just all really bizarre. He gets one of the dog's names right, but it's not like she has a ton of animals. She only has four. What are my dog's names. Norman. Okay. Lady. Lady? Or, Lady? Or what? like something with an L. Norman. Um, Remember, they all are like, Normie. And they all have the E. And Lay, uh, uh. Baby, there's four. You got one? I know, I know. Because it's a girl, pretty, or like, what's her name? Uh, her name's Bambi. Bambi. Okay, and then the what? The babies. Oh, definitely. So it's Normie, yeah. Bambi. Yeah. You don't know them? <laughs> Rosie and Harley. Oh, Rosie, Harley, yeah. 
So those are all of the animals we're going to talk about today, but there are so many more, like probably double. So if you do want a part two, leave a comment below, but it's hard to keep track because they treat these animals like they treat purses. The Kardashian Jenners are the ultimate experts at only showing the camera what they want. So whether their animals are gone for good or at a trainer's place or just merely off screen, we really have no idea. But there are a couple of theories I want to share with you guys on why the Kardashians would do this. Theory one, the Kardashian Jenners routinely purchase puppies for cute photo opportunities, then rehomes them before they grow bigger and demand more attention and quality care. Chloe's admission to this makes it a possibility because Chloe clearly cannot take care of the three puppies when she moved into her big mansion, so she got rid of them. Here's a second theory. They keep the dogs, but they outsource all their care. They hire professional trainers and handlers to train and take care of them so they can focus on more important things things like social media. This is something I don't believe because I've read so many stories about like the Kardashians underpaying their employees, trying to get the best deal. Actually, when I lived in DC, I knew this girl who was Kylie Jenner's personal assistant. And like the Kardashians are really rich people, but they are kind of like, like, I don't want to say cheap, but like they're stingy. Like they don't like to overpay. So I cannot imagine the Kardashians like funding a life for all of these animals and just not like using them. I think they're the type of people who get these animals, use them for what they need them for, and then they just ultimately get rid of them. My friend Spilly actually made this TikTok using one of North's TikToks, and you can see that North is making like a meal for their dogs, and I think this was like a rebuttal to the earlier video of the garage, and I do think it's cute, and you can see that some of the dogs are still around, so Kim's not the worst here. North was posted this tiktok where she is giving a gourmet meal to their dogs and people are cracking me up reposting this talking about how they're trying to send a message to PETA after that one video where the dogs were living in the garage and people were like i can't believe kim kardashian has her dogs living in the garage like i expected her to give them a paris hilton like mini house at this rate with all the money that she has but fear not you guys these dogs are eating good at least this night they were those dogs are eating good, at least in that TikTok on that night. But I do feel like there's a disconnect here and that Kimberly doesn't really care for these animals and probably just like buys them like they're toys for her children. And there are so many other celebrities who are guilty of this. For example, Justin and Haley Bieber have given away their $35,000 cats because they claim the cats are psycho and act half wild. These two have made an Instagram for their cats and they've invested so much time into them but just easily gave them away because they were just too much work they claim they were amazing but psycho which i just think is like really stupid like really okay and if you guys want a part two about other celebrity animals let me know i've done like a video kind of similar to this in the past about like some influencer people but the kardashians have had so many pets i needed to dive in let's go ahead and open a p.o box uh letter and actually you guys gave me some advice for my nail thank you so much i cracked it in the middle kind of like a hoof it looks like a hoof and some people were telling me to put like tea bags and like um paint over it and i did that with like a band date and it worked really well. Hi Sloan, I love your YouTube channel. I only trust you and BJ, that surprise witness, which I love BJ. I was just texting her. Um, when it comes to the free Britney movement, thank you for the amount of consistent research that you do for each video. I have in the past emailed you, but I know your inbox is probably full. If I got like 15,000 emails, I probably should get someone to help me manage my email, but it's just like, uh, it's a lot. I thought that I would send a letter. Here are some new video content ideas. <gasps> Christy, stop. Some video content ideas. I am so excited. <gasps> I love video ideas. And like this, this is just like so inspiring. Oh, wow. I'm actually scared to talk about Jeffrey Epstein though. I think they would delete my channel if I did that. I love this. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. A follow-up video of the possibility of the Kardashian family stealing Britney Spears' fortune. Maybe I can. I did get a cease and desist for that, but now I have a good lawyer. So thank you so much, Christy, for the video ideas. This is so sweet. I'm going to read these and dive into it. And I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye, guys. 